Let's practice your English. I read white and you read yellow. Conversation between two friends. Self-introduction embracing your identity. Saying, two friends, Miss Ba and James, sit in a cozy cafe, sipping coffee and engaged in a conversation about self-introduction and personal identities. I am Miss Ba and you are James. Yeah. Let's start. You know, Danes, I've been pondering this lately how we introduce ourselves says a lot about who we are. So, how do you usually greet yourself, James, when someone asks, tell me about yourself, where do you begin? I tend to focus on my passions, things that truly define me, my love for travel, my fascination with art and my penchant for writing. Exactly, I believe our hobbies, values and experiences shape us more than our job titles or where we come from, don't you think? But sometimes it's challenging, right, to encapsulate the depth of who we are and the few sentences. And yet, that's what people often expect, a concise, packaged version of ourselves. Do you ever feel pressured to portray a specific image when introducing yourself? It's like we are navigating between being authentic and meeting societal expectations. Absolutely, I think it's essential to embrace our unique qualities and share what truly matters to us. Maybe it's been about confidently sharing what matter to us while being open to other perceptions. Precisely, it's about confidently owning a story without letting external judgments define us. Cheers to that, James, here to embracing our uniqueness and confidently greeting ourselves just the way we are. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.